Welcome to Sonny and Luca Playtime. This is a dinosaur special and I'm going to go through nearly all my Jurassic World or Jurassic Park dinosaurs. So first we've got Minifigure Blue and Robotic Blue. If you go to one of our videos we've got an encounter of Blue. And then we've got the Pyroraptor, only introduced in the new Jurassic World Dominion. And was one of my favourite dinosaurs in it. Wow. We've got one of the three T-Rexes I'm going to be showing you today. And then I'm going to do like all the animations that you can do here's this one only of it row, row. and its tail can move you're on the table oh yeah i'm gonna put you right next to me and then for our next dinosaur i don't know how many i can choose from i'm gonna go with rex in all of our Jurassic World Expedition videos, I am holding Rex. I never took it off. Well, I did take it off once in the expedition and then put it back on. But it is fun. I can make it cry as well. Blink. Lift his head up. And I think if I make it blink, I'm raw, I think it's tired. No, I think it's blink and head up. That's it. If he's staying, I'll put him in, I'll keep holding him. Now for our next dinosaur. I'm gonna go for my Kentrosaurus. But as a secret pod in it, which is in this fight. And I think if you have a Jurassic World game, you can scan it and then you get this dinosaur in it. And we just turn Rex off. So the Kentrosaurus. In Jurassic World, can Cretaceous. Nearly, well, does hit the T-Rex, but doesn't have one of these side spikes. These side spikes, in real life, say that they were right outside in our garden. This would be the size of, like, my dad, <laughs> which is, like, six foot. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go next to the randomise in the cave. Hmm, which one next? I think we're gonna go for I lost one of its feet. But the Spinosaurus has its first appearance was in Jurassic Park 3 and it was its only appearance. But it's one of my favourite dinosaurs. And because it lived in water, I'm going to put it at the side, in the water. Oh, I guess I can sit down. This does turn on somewhere. Get there. So this is my land's favourite dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus. And if it can work, which it obviously isn't right now, it would start walking. 
now probably if I turn it on. Or oh, this way's off, I think. When turn on, but in the films, it says it spits poison out of its mouth, but it actually never. And it's gonna go off the edge of the cliff and near some rocks. Therizinosaurus, which was way higher than the Kentrosaurus, with another Kentrosaurus on. It had claws the size of like my arm, three on each hand. And if I press this button on its tail, its whole head goes down and fits its hand. And because it lived in the grass. We're gonna put it here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. And because it's fallen, I think that's steady. If it falls, I'll just pick it back up. Thanks. Now that I've covered the front row, I'm gonna have like a few more dinosaurs that can go on it. Now I've got the Gallimimus. It's one of the fastest ever. And um, one of my top 10 favourite dinosaurs. My favourite dinosaur, which I haven't got and I am not lying, is the Comsenathus. But it's meant. But I'm gonna get it for Christmas. If I can. But I'm not sure. But this, at first I thought this was the fastest dinosaur and not the Velociraptor. But when I figured out the Velociraptor was faster than the Gallimimus, I was mind blown. But v Velociraptor isn't the fastest. The Comte Nathus is which is my favourite dinosaur. So I'm gonna put that one on the slides up. But if I put that there, I think that will work. Right, good. Five dinosaurs left, and maybe one bonus dinosaur that isn't a dinosaur, but it's my only full on bone creature. Next is the GoPro Sucus or the Gyro Sucus. But the meteorite that killed the dinosaurs that I've got in front of me were meant to kill it, it was meant to kill the crocodile dinosaurs. But somehow the crocodile dinosaurs survived. Uh, so I think they went in the water. But if the Mosasaurus went extinct at that time, how did the all the crocodile dinosaurs survive. That's something I have no clue. And it's got the longest mouth, I think, ever. And it's my favourite swimming dinosaur. Sorry, Mosasaurus, but you're my second. So because it's a swimmer, I'm going to put it at the waterfall. And then next up, we're going to put up my like only baby dinosaur, my baby Brachiosaurus I got on my beef day all Christmas. It is really cool. Like it's got an entire moving neck, an opening mouth. I couldn't put it in swim mode. So I can swim or like go down the mountain and that will finish off my front row. And then we're gonna go for mm -hmm. 
one of the first ever mixed of two dinosaurs. About three stuff with two dinosaurs in it. The Indominus Rex. It was mixed with a T-Rex and Velociraptor. And then a bit of lizard so it can camouflage. It's got an open mouth that lights up in the way. Just like that. Like you can see it's in, inside its own mouth. And if you look inside when it lights up. Don't try and eat it. Close. Ooh. When I say close, I've nearly fell like twice now. Why did I not put the pyro raptor up? You can slot the Because I can't put robotic blue up, I have to put minifigure blue. Now I'll put one of my last mini figure dinosaurs. And then the last dinosaurs will be something like this. So this is the Dimetrodon. It's extra fast. I think it's combined with the Spinosaurus. With a bit of like a stretchy body. With a tail, four legs and can swim and can also go along like the Spinosaurus. It's got the entire like back frill like the Spinosaurus. I think it's a back frill. Not sure. You get the head perfectly in position, it can line up with the backbone. And it could go in water. So it would so it's one of the fastest. If you go to it and then like slap it and you start running, this would cause easily catch up to you. Unless you're a really fast runner and can run a hundred meters in less than three minutes. If you can, you can easily, well, not easily outrun it. And be just about outrun it. But if you do outrun it easily, you have to finish a hundred meters in less than a minute. To extremely go fast, but if you hop in the water and thinking you're safe, well, you're not. Because this Dimetrodon will easily eat you in the water because you can't go that fast in the water. Well, these can. These go like as fast as sharks. Then I'm gonna line them up somewhere where water is, cause they mostly spend their time in water and like their common food is fish, but sometimes they eat mini insects. So because it's a water dinosaur, I'm gonna put it on this water. And then we have the T-Rex. I've got a postcard of it, I've got the, well, Triceratops with a gyro spear on. Tomasosaurus, Indominus Rex and T-Rex. Oh, I'm just going to leave them down for a minute. I forgot I had. The Jurassic World Annual when I was born, 2016. I'm gonna put these around because I can't put them back up. Or how about I put some in here? Just put them on the table, Sonny. Okay. Finish your dinosaurs off. I've got three more. Now, first of all, 
my first giant dinosaur I got. I think it's the T Rex. And then, as well as that, the Dominus Rex. It can go far in. Like, I can put my whole fist in it. Like, if you put your tongue in and then let it bounce on it, and then like go with your full power on it, it hits. Oh, I don't think we can fit my. Dinosaur, that's nearly the last. Let me just fix my tea here. So now I have my Mosasaurus, which has lots of teeth, but an additional. Eight teeth inside its whole mouth that I did not expect. And then it can stand up if we do this, but I've got no room on my dinosaur mat. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. But the next dinosaur, which is lucky, is coming up. That isn't a dinosaur, but today it's in our video. No. Come on, Sonny. Trying to find it. Well, because I can't find it, I'm just going to use the one that I was going to use for another bonus dance. So I'm going to use this one I don't know the name of. But it, is, but it is in the, well, Triceratops family. I do have a, something like the Rhinosaurus, I think it is called. But with horns on its face instead of its frill. And this one only has a frill, no horns. And the male ones use it frill to show off and then I've got my tea here for the T-Rex there what? the tag? yeah <laughs> should have known but because that we're not actual bonus dinosaur I will get the real bonus dinosaur that I couldn't find, that I should have found a second ago. An actual baby triceratops that hasn't grown its middle horn yet. But I think it's the first dinosaur you see in Jurassic World Dominion. And it's one of the cutest ones. Stand up for it, yeah. Good day. Oh. oh. Put it there so it doesn't fall off. If 
Thanks for watching my dinosaur special. And I think I'm gonna do a mini game of this. Okay, I'm playing red. Okay. Time for the Jurassic World game. I'm ready. So I will collect the ammo, press C to shoot. Oh, one player. Yeah, done. Okay. Oh, yeah, does he Rex? He's not the friendly one. to run immediately. Try and say hint. Houston Oh, I've got to climb up this building. Thanks for watching my first and probably gonna do a couple more Jurassic World specials in the future. So thanks for watching. This has been really fun. So thank you, like and subscribe. Bye dinosaurs. Round.